it's a very simple little tiny little um, children's um, picture book. What's it called? It's called Amelia Hayhart, the adventurous guinea pig. <laughs> I love it already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I dedicate this book to my husband Bill and my kids Finn and Rose because they really support and, and encourage my endless explorations. There was once a guinea pig by the name of Amelia Hayhart. Yes. <laughs> she lived with her parents and her older sister, Luna, in the backyard of a little house which was situated in a big city. The humans, she called them her carers, were very good to Amelia and her family. They brought fresh fruit and vegetables every day, made sure that Amelia and her family always had clean water and dry hay to sleep on, and always left the door of their hutch open so that they were free to explore the backyard. Amelia and her family were very proud to be free-range guinea pigs. <laughs> <laughs> the backyard was a safe place. There were no predators. The family of guinea pigs enjoyed their days eating fresh grass, sampling various plants, and exploring all aspects of the garden. Luna was, a very, content, was very content with the backyard. The yard was her world. It satisfied all of her curiosity. She did not have a need to explore the other side of the fence. Indeed, Luna never gave the other side of a fence much of a thought. And this is okay, of course. There's nothing wrong with being content with one's own backyard. Amelia, however, was a very curious guinea pig. She did love her own backyard and was very attached to her family yet she couldn't resist exploring the other side of the fence. And this is okay, of course. Each guinea pig is different from all others, and difference is a good thing. Amelia discovered a few holes in the fence just big enough to fit through. One day she spent all afternoon on the next door neighbor's lawn enjoying the very sweet, green, velvety soft grass. Another day, she explored a different neighbouring house where she sampled the parsley, basil and coriander. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia's carers uh, noticed that she was exploring neighbouring properties and became concerned for her safety. They went searching for holes in the fence and when found, they blocked the holes. But Amelia was a very determined and passionate guinea pig. She persisted in her quest to explore new landscapes. One day, the carers noticed that Amelia was not in the backyard and she was not in the hutch. They said things to each other like, don't worry, she'll come back. She's just on one of her adventures. And so she did. Yet the day came when Amelia left for an adventure and did not come back. Her carers, the humans, went looking for her but they did not find her. Amelia had discovered the local park, and the local park went for miles and miles. <laughs> Amelia realized that her love for adventure was stronger than her desire for safe containment. And there she is on top of the Sydney Opera House. <laughs> <laughs> So on she went, she explored. It was what in her heart and her mind she needed and wanted. Amelia went where no guinea pig had gone before. <laughs> this is the way to the Everest base camp. <laughs> <laughs> She's still exploring, still pushing through boundaries, finding gaps in fences, wondering what lies on the other side still discovering new things about her world, attending to her ever-growing curiosity. She is, after all, an animal, and now a wild animal, having reclaimed and now nurturing her wildness and her wilderness.